Hey, hey, Jay Marshall here. Let's look at editing a PDF, actually creating an editable PDF to be more precise. You can do that with Adobe Acrobat DC. If you don't see a shortcut on your desktop, you can go to your start menu and locate it there as well. Once you open it up, you should be prompted to sign in. You can continue with Google and use your NMUSD login credentials. Mine is already um, plugging in quickly here because I've done this um, earlier today. So I'm going to minimize this for now. So here you will see a button named See All Tools. Please click it and scroll down to Forms and Signatures where you will see Prepare Form. Go ahead and click Prepare Form. Here you can select a file that you already have on your computer. You can scan a document or start from scratch. I already have a PDF, so I'm gonna keep it on single file, select a file. So if I click, I can find it. It's in my downloads and I can choose open. <clears throat> You'll see it creates a little thumbnail and let's start this off here. It's located in an area where they feel that a text um, field is is wanted and they are correct so one thing i'm going to do is i can dra drag it up a tiny bit if i want and i can resize it a bit there we go excellent so i can do some of that the other thing i can do is i can right click on it and go to properties to see what the properties are of this text field I'm going to ignore this. If I go to Appearance, I can mess with my text. So I can customize my text if I'd like. Font size, you see you have some options. You can also type in an op a, a number if you want a larger um, text. But be careful if the, you know, uh, this is going to be asking for a, a family name, their last name. And if they have a long name, maybe I will choose Auto, and it will autofill that box that might be a good place for me to start i don't want it to spill over or go too too far out of the box it might not look very good if i go to options you'll see that there's a spell check option there's also multi-line which allows more than a, a single line entry in the text field so for this one maybe i only want to be one line because it's someone's last name and scroll along text, um, it will compensate for text that goes beyond the boundaries of that text field as well. So I can leave that. So for this one, maybe I'll do this. I can allow for text, uh, rich text formatting, which will um, give them some options to edit their fonts, um, make it look how they want. It's up to you. But at this point, if I choose close, that one is complete. Awesome. Now I want to plug in some text fields in these white rectangles. So if I go up here, this is the button that I use to do that, add a text field. So I click and move my mouse and then it just kind of follows me. And if I click again, now I've inserted a text field. So I can, again, right click, go to properties and make some changes to this one. So here I want to um, do the multi-line. Maybe for this I won't. This is going to be another little subtitle. So maybe I'll keep these settings the same. I'll allow that rich text. And the appearance is fine. That's great. I could always change my color if I want. Um, or the font, like we said before. But let's leave that alone. If I want to, I can right-click and use this as the default. Use current properties as default because, look, I want to add more. So I'm going to add another one here. And it will keep those same settings. So I don't have to make any changes to those settings, which is kind of nice. So I can keep adding those. I want to add some big ones down below. So I'm going to click I'll add one in. And I'm going to use the grid lines to help kind of line it up. And I'm just going to resize this as well, make it a little larger. If I go to properties now, uh, this one's going to be a little different. Um, if I go to options, I want to do multi-line on this one, I think, just in case they 
need to type more than will fit in that box. So that's kind of cool. Um, I think this is pretty good for these settings. I'm happy with the font size. Everything looks great. Look at that. Fantastic. Super. So if I choose close, now look, this is, I need to do two more. So if I don't want to recreate the wheel every time, I can use the current properties as the new defaults and then add another one in. And you can see, isn't that great? It's pretty awesome. Of course, you can label your text fields if you'd like. You can change the name. You'll see them listed on the side as well. Um, you can rename them here by right clicking and renaming. Um, that's your call. But as you can see, we've created an editable PDF and that's how it is done. Fantastic. I hope that helped and I hope you have a lovely day. If you have any questions, you can reach out to edtech at nnusd.us.